had better be fucking good. Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Ubisoft have officially revealed the next Watch Dogs game at E3 2019. To celebrate the unveiling, I have teamed up with Ubisoft to tell you nine things you need to know about Watch Dogs Legion. And believe me, there are some impressive innovations coming. And as this is a sponsored video, we have our own custom link in the description below where you can find out more about Legion, including the pre-order bonuses such as the Golden King pack, but we'll get to that very soon. Let's break down Watch Dogs Legion with some exclusive unseen footage too. Welcome to the Resistance. Let's start with the biggest innovation that Watch Dogs Legion gives us. If you are expecting a gritty generic hero with a shady past and grizzled voice, then get that out of your head. The main character is anyone you see in the world. Anyone at all. Just sit back and take that in for a second. Every single NPC can be your protagonist if you choose them to be. So NPCs no longer stand for non-playable characters in Watch Dogs Legion, let's call them newly playable characters. If you want to play as a bare knuckle boxer, go for it. Maybe a Bobby on the beat. That's a police officer, by the way. If you can find them, they are yours to play as. You already know that I'm going to go for the big guns. The oldest person in the game, this Nana, <laughs> she will be my hero. The deadliest of the lot. She's not old, she's experienced. Let's quickly take a step back and look at Legion's setting. It's none other than bloody London. London, greatest city in the world. I'm sure you've already figured that out by the amount of times we say bloody and mate. <laughs> and freedom's a bloody joke. Bloody machines. On your feet, mate. Like a bloody checkpoint. Bloody drones are everywhere. Another thing I'm sure you're aware of is that the UK is attempting to break away from the European Union, which acts as the basis of the story. Imagining the worst possible scenario from that point. And that brings us to Watch Dogs Legion. Now it's a right mess. Government's f off. London is now a surveillance state. Our freedoms have been replaced with this crippling fear of the establishment. In a multicultural society, the deportation squads are now Judge Judy and Executioner. Not Judge Judy and Executioner! He is! Not to mention the organised crime underworld. It's time for the locals to stand up and take the power back. It's all of us. Together. The way those two elements come together make up the potential brilliance of Watch Dogs Legion. Not only will we be able to choose our character, we will live and die in the city. There is permadeath in this game. Maybe after an hour, maybe after 10 hours, your character could die. What happens next? Well, we are given a fleeting chance to continue playing as that character. Not to die. But once they pass away, they are gone for good, forever. Rest in peace. We lost Ian, he's gone. After that happens, we fill the shoes of another dead sec operative, instantly moving forward without your fallen comrade. Although they do make reference to those that pass away. Wait, what happened to that bloke who helped me? He didn't make it. As we play through, our focus will be to expand our forces, recruiting new operatives. We will build the resistance and take back London. Here's something which blew my mind. Any NPC can be recruited. They all have voice actors, a thought out backstory with different motivations. They even have an origin story to play through before they become a member of the resistance. You think everyone else has given up and there's no one to trust. That's what they want you to think. And that's how they'll take us, one at a time. It doesn't have to be that way. Together, we can change things. Each character has a subtly different skill set, meaning selecting a punk rocker, a school teacher, or even an MI5 agent can be hugely beneficial. But come on, we all want to play as that 90 year old, right? Yeah, I'm sure we'll go for the military badass instead. He can get anywhere and erase anyone. I personally need to make sure I don't keep deliberately murdering my character to see who pops up next. I wonder if it's possible to complete the game in a single life with a single character. And by having permadeath in the game, by losing that one character you've been playing as for the last 30 hours, will pull on our heartstrings, it will be heartbreaking to lose them, and they ain't coming back. So don't accidentally blow yourself up with a grenade. 
Oh. Whilst we're talking about recruitment, every person in this dystopian future London is a walking chip and pin. We can scan them all. As the on-screen pop-ups show us, their subtle skill differences are visible. 15% plus turret damage, 10% extra damage when on low health, or more important skills like drone expertise or links to their addictions. One guy is addicted to adrenaline. I can't see him lasting very long. This allows us to prep for missions and choose the perfect operative. I doubt Helen, the elderly lady, can scale a building. But you're damn right, I'd love to see her try. This type of control and customization will be an important element in Watch Dogs Legion. Open your eyes and take a look around. A few people, including myself, was a little worried that Watch Dogs in the UK would mean no over-the-top action pieces, you know, like, um queuing up and drinking tea. <laughs> I mean like guns, we all thought that because the UK has quite a strict gun law that they won't be in the game. Well let's clear that up right now. Watch Dogs Legion is packed with guns, bombs and other ways to take down the system. The same thing goes for cutting edge technology which makes Watch Dogs Watch Dogs. CTOS remains pivotal to hacking, infiltrating with those killer drones. There's even a few oversized ones to fly around on. This is due to drone technology being used for pretty much everything in this world, from delivery services to heavy lifting on construction sites. Meaning we can literally hack a drone, fly it to our current location, hop on board and fly anywhere else in London. Pretty damn cool. Oh, and my personal favourite must be those scuttling spider robots of death. That's a pretty good way to die. Although we haven't seen the full extent of the game world, we have been given access to long shots of the city. And if we use the Skyrim rule, i.e. wherever you can see, you can visit, then that would mean this map is bloody huge. We are also able to confirm many tourist spots will be accessible. Big Ben, that's the bell inside the clock tower. Tower Bridge, not to be confused with London Bridge. The Houses of Parliament, the Gherkin, Chinatown. We could go on and on. If the game uses history as a starting point, we could see this new revolution pick up the pieces of Guy Fawkes and his attempt to bring down the controlling factions of the city known as the Gunpowder Plot. I wonder if his mask, do you know the one used in V for Vendetta? I wonder if it's in here somewhere. As I'm throwing out ideas, what about stealing the crown jewels? I would likely be hung, drawn and quartered for suggesting that, but I would love to get my hands on Lizzie's bits and pieces. I am definitely going to prison for saying that. Let's move on. Is now a good time to bring up the language? Have you noticed we live in a time where shooting people is okay, but foul language is a no-no in video games? Well, we showed those f***, didn't we? Government's f off kicking our f***ing teeth in lately. Now. We lost Ian. Oh, you are f done now. Well, Watch Dogs Legion may have the most sweary video game in Ubisoft history. And to be honest, it's the most London thing about the game. Never mind the beautiful recreation of the world with hyper-realistic landmarks. Nah, it's all about the over-the-top swearing. Well, we showed those f didn't we? Which I can confirm is everywhere in London. You f in Belland. <laughs> So, release date, when does Watch Dogs Legion release? 2020, March the 6th to be precise, so not long at all. Like is commonplace these days, pre-order incentives are in place. If you want to see them for yourselves, the link is down below. But pre-ordering now nets you the Golden King Pack, a pure gold weapon skin, a luxury golden vehicle wrap, and a regal mask to keep your identity protected in the game. For those who want more than the base game, the Gold, Ultimate and Collector's Editions have three days of early access to show off to your friends. And they all include the Season Pass, which once again confirms Ubisoft's commitment to support and improve the game for months and years to come. I honestly can't think of another organisation who has this uncanny ability to improve games year upon year. Rainbow Six Siege, The Division, For Honor, all these games have continually innovated and pushed forward. So the Season Pass will hopefully see Watch Dogs Legion follow that same trend. Oh, also look at this collector's edition, a highly detailed mask from the game. God damn it, I need it and I don't know why. <laughs> There's also so many things that each edition has, so it's probably best for you to check for yourselves. And you should do that anyway, as occasionally different regions of the world receive different content and extras. So the link is in the description. So that's where we currently stand with Watch Dogs Legion. So let's open a dialogue. I'd love to know your thoughts on Legion. What impresses you? What reservations do you have? And what questions would you like me to constantly annoy their PR reps with? I have to say the mechanics of changing character and seeing how their life has been affected by the organized crime and the system that they live within has me very excited for this game. 
And also, what will happen in cutscenes with different characters? I wonder if the 80-year-old granny can do parkour. These, these are random questions that just pop into my head sometimes. Anyway, if you've got this far in the video, please accept my thanks. I do appreciate it. And also, a little quiz question. Who would win in a fight between Aidan Pierce from the original Watch Dogs, Marcus Holloway from Watch Dogs 2, and that lovely grandma that I can't get out of my head from Legion? <laughs> you know who my money's on. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.